Let's talk about power cores. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Azaline. Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to make a guide about power cores. So let's start at the very beginning. When you first play the game, you're not going to have any power cores. You're you will have these two slots, but you cannot equip any because you have to unlock them, right? Okay, so let's quickly go over the various power cores that are currently available as of right now. So you have two different types of power cores. You have active ones, you have passive ones. There are currently three active ones. So let's go over them real quick. We have magnet. It magnetizes the ball towards your car. It pulls the bar towards you. It's a very useful one used in high elo games by experienced players a lot. And you unlock it by getting 30 stars in solos. Next one we have quick flip. Quick flip allows you to do a quick flip, hence the name, and it will um, it will allow you to gain speed. You can use a forward flip, you can use a side roll, basically what you're used to, but it's faster. And we have shock. Shock wave creates a it creates a shock wave from uh, the center of your car outwards. If it if it hits your ball, it will uh, it will bump push the ball away. Simple. Those are your three active ones. You can only equip your active ones in this power socket. I pers personally, my personal choice, I like to go quick flip. I like the burst of speed. I like the powerful hits on the ball. This is what I go with. Now let's talk passive power cores. Passive power cores are power cores you do not manually activate. They are active all the time while you're playing. That's that's what passive means. You don't have to do anything. So you have eight passive power cores right now. You have big ball. It increases the size of your ball. You get it by unlocking 10 stars in solos. We also have small ball. It does the exact opposite. It decreases the size of your ball, it makes it small. You get this by winning a match. Just win one match. You get one win, you unlock this. Curveball, it adds even more spin to your ball. Your ball naturally has spin. It will curve if you hit it on the side. So if you hit it that center, it's going to go straight. If you hit it on the left side, it's going to curve to the right. This is going to make the curve even stronger. It's going to curve more. I personally don't like using it. I guess there are certain situations where this can be useful or people like to use it. Try it out and see what you think. You unlock this by getting 70 stars in solos. This is the hardest one to unlock. Next we have Spring Ball. It increases the bounciness of your ball, which means when your ball hits the floor, it's going to bounce up more. You unlock it by getting 50 stars in solos. Now over here we have Straight and Steady. This is a very beginner friendly power core. I would suggest people that are new to the game to try to unlock this to make your game easier. It completely it, it removes spin from your ball, so when you hit it, it goes straight. You can no longer curve it. However, this is going to make it easier for you to hit like the boost strings and to hit the power-ups on the field. So this is going to be very friendly for beginners or people that are learning the game. To unlock this one, you have to hit 20 boost rings in online matches. Online matches means solos do, does not count. You have to do this in multiplayer. Next one, we have double dash. Double dash is a popular one. It's a good one. It allows you to use your dash twice in a single jump. In this game, when you jump, uh, and you jump again, you can dash forward. It gives you a burst of speed. It allows you to hit your ball faster. This one allows you to use your dash twice in a single jump. So you, you simply go faster. You hit your ball. Um, you can hit your ball hard. It's a good one. Next, we have Hothead. This is a bit of a niche one. It's, it sounds really good. It increases your boost power, but depletes it faster. It's 
when I started, I used this one. After a while, I switched off it because I barely noticed the difference of the boost power. So essentially what this does is you have your boost meter and when you're boosting it's going to accelerate your car this makes your car accelerate faster but it depletes your boost bar faster as well so you cannot boost as long to unlock this one you need to play five online matches once again only online solos does not count and the last one we have sandmaster this is a bit of a beginner friendly passive core as well you unlock it by getting 20 stars in solos and what this does that this is very important to understand your car will not be slowed down by bunkers note that it says your car your ball will still get slowed down it's it's still going to slow down your ball it's going to make your ball not bounce as much in a bunker but when your car drives through it's as if you are not driving through a bunker you keep your speed I like this one at the start because I didn't quite understand how to avoid the bunkers or uh, I didn't even know how to dash yet. So this is, uh, it's, it's effective for beginners I would say. And you unlock this by getting 20 stars in your solos mode. So now, now it's the interesting part, right? So I will show you the combination I go with. I go with this combination. I like the quick flip. I like the ability to do a fast flip and gain speed quickly. And I use straight and steady, which allows me to make it easier to hit the rings, to, uh, to aim my ball properly. And this is overall a pretty, it's a pretty solid um, combination to go with. However, when you get to like the higher level of this game, like the higher skill, people start to use kind of different combinations. People start to use Magnet a lot because it um, it makes for, um, it, it, it gives the possibility to do a bit fancier things, a bit cooler things. It makes you, it allows you to hit the ball f harder if you know how to use it. Like let's say the ball is, slightly ahead of your car right and you can't hit it you use magnet and it's going to pull the ball towards you but at the same time you're driving against it so it's going to create this massive force hitting your ball harder than usual so that's the kind of th things you can do with magnet or if you if you're someone that likes to go for the fancy stuff like people have already been doing runs where they hit the ball up high at the start and they never let the ball touch the ground until it enters the hole people are doing that already it's it's freaking crazy it blows my freaking mind but this this helps with it 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 allows you to pull the to pull the ball to your car it's a very popular one in combination with that a lot of people are using double dash to be faster people want to be fast this is a racing game you have to keep that in mind you want to be faster than everyone else. So the double dash is going to be very effective. I see um, from my games that I'm playing, I see a lot of people like the small ball. There is some rumors going around that it, ma it makes the ball lighter. So it will stay airborne a bit longer. I don't know if that is exactly true. The only thing we know for sure is that it decreases the size of the ball. Thus, at the same time, making your ball a bit harder to hit, especially if you still have the curve on it. It's um, it's very hard to hit it dead center. I don't really see people use spring ball, to be quite honest with you. I guess there are some situations where it can be useful, or maybe you like to use it. Maybe, maybe it fits your playstyle. What I would overall suggest you would do is unlock all these cores. Just make sure you have them all and try out different combinations and see what benefits the way you play and what helps you. Don't, don't use power cores because someone else tells you it's the best. There is, as with everything, there is no best. The only good solution is to use what benefits your playstyle and makes you play better. 
Now to give you a little bit more insight on how certain combinations can work, let's go over two combinations that we have been um, discussing on the TTR Discord and we were wondering what happens if you use them. Because I'm, I'm sure some of you are already asking, like what happens if I put small ball over here, but I put big ball over here? What does it do? Does it increase or does it decrease? So we had someone test this out on our on the TGR Discord. And overall, it basically negates each other. There was someone that was saying it makes it slightly bigger, but it was barely noticeable. And we had the same with what if we use straight and steady? And what if we use curveball over here? We, we had no idea what this would do. So we had our friend Neon on the TDR Discord try this out. I didn't own Curveball at the time, but I knew it existed. And I was asking him, like, could you try out what happens if you equip these? Like, do they negate each other? Do, do Does one cancel out the other? What happens? So he did a test on this. And actually we can I can just hop into a solo and show you like we now have curveball and straight and steady straight and steady should make your ball hit straight all the time so what happens if we use this what happens is it it negates each other it's going to add curve back to your ball but it's not going to increase it so you're still going, you're going, it's, it's like equipping no power cores. That's basically what it does. It's a useless combination that you should never be running unless you're going for some kind of meme out there or when, like want to show it off like this. So that is our quick overview and guide on power cores. Uh, once again, to give you um, a bit of a ballpark on if you're new to the game, try to unlock, um, first of all, straight and steady. So focus on hitting those boost rings on the field, which are the, the rings that, that are up in the sky. If you hit it with your ball, it will launch your ball. That is going to be a very instrumental part of the game later on when you're going for fast times and you want to be faster than everyone else, it's going to be very important that you're capable of hitting those rings. So get used to hitting them and unlock straight and steady, for sure. Um, try to get your 20 stars in solos as well so to get your Sandmaster. If you're struggling with that, it makes it a little bit easier. Keep in mind, even though you can equip active cores in this one, you don't have to. You can equip two passive ones like I have right now. Personally, what I use is the quick flip there, the straight and steady here, and I'm good to go. This is this is my go-to setup. It benefits my personal playstyle. It might not benefit yours, but try it out. See what helps what helps you the most, and see what um, makes you play better. So I hope this guide has been helping you understand how uh, power cores work, what they are, what they do, which ones exist. And I hope I'll see you on the course sometime. See you later.